In uh, February, I'm going to uh, Barcelona uh, down to visit the chiropractic college of which my son is enrolled and work with them some, see how we can work together. Uh, one of the classes I want to do is a class called Team Building and Communication, which uh, I'm sure there's no other class on the planet called Team Building and Communication. Do you think? Hmm, maybe. But uh, this is with, within the parameters of the self-actualization learning technologies, and we do things differently. If we didn't, all I have to do is convey to you how we are different. If I can do that, then you may look at doing a class with me. But one of the things we do in team building and communication is we video each participant uh, with a, just a still of the face from about here to here, and then we have them do this and this. So you can see all the different sorts of communicate or how different people communicate, right? And if you don't know what you're communicating, it's going to be impossible to be welcoming to people. And a lot of times, what did the Robert Shaw, I can't say it in the Irish or the Scottish brogue that he said, but, but oh, would some power give us the power to see ourselves as others see us? You know, if we could see how we were impacting people, then we could alter it. Again, noticing fixes more than fixing. I don't want to fix anything with people. But if you notice inefficiencies, you'll know when to use them and when not to use them. Okay, here's my point. You've spent years building a character. You're not really aware all the time of what that persona is presenting. Many times it's less than efficient because we've been enculturated into less than magnificent states of life, into mediocrity. If that's what you're presenting when people come into your office, then they're going to get that. Brian Tracy says we need three one-thousandths of a second to make a decision as to whether we're going to do business with somebody or not. But... We film people and we let them see what they see themselves on the film and let them know a truth is that they, you change all the time. Right? If people see inefficiencies, I'm not asking them to get rid of the inefficiencies. I'm asking them to notice them so they can use those inefficiencies when they need to. You know, certain people come into your life, you have to look inefficient. Yeah, good to see you. Really nice to see you. Right? Within the context of team building, one of the dif most difficult things I've seen is this thing called trust. People say, I don't trust that man. And I'll say, why? Well, he did this and I didn't like it. And that's not trust. That's opinion. You know, that's that you don't have a high opinion of him. Trust is when you know what somebody's going to do, whether you like it or not. Okay, I was consulting with a, a company that was going big, and one of the employees would have these temper tantrums. The younger brother told me about the temper tantrums. When I met with the older brother who had started the company, he also told me about the temper tantrums. What I asked of them is, after the temper tantrums of this one employee, are you closer to your goals or further away? And they said, the temper tantrums are destructive, disruptive. I said, okay, they're disruptive, but after the temper tantrum, are you closer or further away from your dreams? <laughs> the younger brother said, hmm, we're going to have to look at that, aren't we? Because you have to look at, sometimes, temper tantrum is the only way to communicate with people, get loud, get boisterous, to get your team rallied and get them going in a direction that you want to go them in. But if people look and go, oh, that's disruptive, we don't want it, you may lose a really valuable team member. Have fun, www.micpeakperformance.com, my book, Noticing fixes more than fixing gives you kind of an indication of what we're looking for when we're looking at the video.